Hello, welcome to another episode of Pokemon TCG Online Deck Profile. I'm Drake Adams, and today we're going to be looking at a Pokemon that has fallen out of favor, but I think is primed to make a resurgence. And yes, that is, in fact, the Subally GX Pokemon. 210 colorless type, the behemoth beast here. Really strong Pokemon, the only reason why it's not seeing play is because of this weakness to fighting. But I feel like if we can cover that weakness, then we should have a really good time with most of the decks in the meta. So what we're going to be doing is comboing him with Garbodor. Uh, obviously the Trash Lanch is just a super strong attack right now in the meta, and Psychic Typing is also a very strong typing. So it fits two builds that we need to um, find a partner for our Sylvalli. So uh, hopping into the profile here, we have the type null is the basic for Sylvalli. It's actually a really strong uh, basic type. It is uh, 110 HP, so it's pretty bulky, and it has a solid attack, the armor press. 30 damage, I mean, yeah, that's not great, but during your next turn, your, uh, this Pokemon takes 30 less damage from your opponent. So what that means is if you do go up against, say, Baby Buzz or some fighting deck, you typically will be able to survive their first hit, at least. So uh, it's actually kind of good for that. And then you can evolve and try to get like a return knockout or something. So nothing to scoff at. And then Slash and Claw can kill most basics in the game. So you never know if you're able to go first and get two, uh, two attachments and kill maybe their Zeruros or what have you. Definitely viable. Obviously, the main attacker is going to be the Sylvalli GX. Has a really strong ability, the Gyro Unit. Your basic Pokemon in play have no retreat costs. So uh, this means that you don't really get stuck out in the active all that often. You don't have that many bad starts because you can, by turn two, move whatever is stuck there out of the active spot. It's really good for that. It's underrated. We have the Turbo Drive attack, kind of costly, with uh, three colorless energies. Because of that, we are running double colorless, so that shall help. But 120 damage, and you attack, attach a basic energy card from your discard pile to one of your bench Pokemon. So it has some good energy recursion, good like kind of re recycling of, of energies, and can help you survive against decks like a Sylveon GX and other things that are trying to just discard all of your energies. Turbo Drive is going to help you keep like a good rhythm going of getting off attacks. The Rebel GX is actually Solid GX attack, 50 damage for every um, bench Pokemon on your opponent's side, so this can do up to 250 damage. Really strong, and it uh, forces your opponent to keep in mind of how many people that they want to put down on their bench. So all, all in all, very strong Pokemon, it's just unfortunate that it is weak to fighting types. Um, but a cool thing about the Sil Silva Ally GX is that it, though it's colorless, it can hit for weakness. It has its own special tool, which uh, is down here. The Fighting Memory is the tool of choice that we're going to be using. Uh, this turns uh, Silva Ally into a fighting type, which means that we can one-shot uh, Zoroark GXs. Zoroark is probably the best Pokemon in the game right now. Second best, I think, would probably would be Baby Buzz. So um, this deck uh, is able to hit for weakness against the best Pokemon and the second best Pokemon in the game. So I think we're really strong in that sense. Speaking of the Garbodor, we have a 4-3 line. We all know what Trash Lanch does. Just going to punish anyone who plays too many items, punish decks like a Rayquaza, and punish uh, decks that are weak to Psychic. If we're running against Spread or something that's doing like a Shrine, uh, build, then we can just kind of go heavy on the Garbodor line and try to win that way. So gives us a little flexibility against a lot of the different strategies in the meta right now. We have one Orangaroo just for some extra draw and consistency. Uh, like I said, if he gets stuck in the active, you can always retreat him turn two typically, so it's not that bad of a start. And three Lele, just uh, too good of a card, and we want to make sure that we can get all the supporters we need when, when we need them. When you're running four double colorless, it's always good to have an extra Lele in there as well. So we're running three in case we want to use them as an attacker. Now for the item cards, uh, we're running four Acrobike. This is just a good consistency card and it, it helps us get our basic energies into the discard pile. Uh, this deck really wants to have psychic energies in the discard. So Acrobike is a good way to make sure that that happens. Uh, so we're going to be running four there running one energy lotto. Um, this is a, a good card to make sure that you find your double colorlesses when you need them. 
you look at the top seven cards of your deck and you may reveal a double colorless or basic energy card that you find there and put it into your hand. So um, yeah, I mean, we're obviously going to be targeting the double colorlesses, but you can grab any energy. So we can grab just a regular psychic if, if we need it, and it just kind of makes things more consistent for us. Trying to go as consistent as possible with this deck. Running two field blower, uh, there isn't a good stadium uh, that this deck can utilize, so we're going to run the field blowers to make sure we're knocking out stadiums and knocking off annoying cards like skateboards, wishful batons, exp shares, things like that. One rescue stretcher, uh, one switch. Uh, I think it's always good to have at least one physical switch card, just you know, in case you need something uh, to get out of the active, like the Sylvalli GX can maybe get stuck, so the switch is good for that. We have four Ultra Ball, four Cynthia, uh, three Guzma, going down one less Guzma um, and trying a couple random other techs just to like uh, suit what our deck needs, you know? Uh, and one of those is a Judge. I feel if the opponent gets off an Algorithm GX or a Tempest GX, we have a really um, hard time coming back from that. So Judge is basically in there to counter those two plays. Um, and I think that uh, it's kind of smart to have some sort of counter, because if not, then your opponent's going to be sitting there with a 10 card hand or whatever they have and just go off. Uh, running two Lily, just uh, probably the second best supporter we have right now as far as draw support. So, got to run two of those. Running one Pokemon Fan Club. Uh, this just helps uh, with, since we have a lot of basics that we need to evolve into Stage 1s, uh, this is a good way to do it without running, taking out two spots for two Nest Ball. And uh, we could also get a Lele with this and not have to put it down that turn. So it gives a little more flexibility. And our little cheeky tech here is the Stevens Resolve. Search your deck for up to three cards and put them in, into your hand, then your turn ends. So it's basically a turn one card. Um, yeah, we can be using Lily turn one, which we will, you know, sometimes as well. It all depends. But since we do need to hit double colorless as early as possible and evolution as early as possible, I feel like Steven's Resolve can do those things for us. If we don't get it off turn one, then it'll typically just be a discard with an Ultra Ball. For our tools, we have three Choice Man. Choice Man's going to be mainly going with Garbodors or Leles uh, to do s significant damage there. And we have two of the aforementioned Fighting Memory, which is going to make us fighting types for dealing with those dark Pokemon. As far as energy, we have four Double Colorless and eight Psychic. Uh, I was originally running seven Psychic, but I feel like uh, you just really want to increase your odds of hitting it with the Acrobike. So running eight just to make sure we're always getting energy in the discard pile, if at all possible. Just trying to be as consistent as humanly possible since we need two attachments for Sylvali to get going. So we're starting off here. This looks like this might be a Zoropod deck, which could be pretty tough. But we're going to see what we can do. I think Garbodor might play a, a good role in this if it is, in fact, Zorpod. So we're going to lead with the Oranguru, protect the Trubbish, and hope that we can get one of our um, type nulls going early. Oh, so here's Sableye. Okay. We have an Acrobat here. We're, we're going to go ahead and ditch the Garbodor because we, we need the draw support. Touch that and use the Cynthia here. So we're looking for an Ultra Ball. Okay, yeah. So we don't need that Stephen's Resolve anymore. And we're able to get an energy in the discard, so that's perfect. Let's get our type null down. And yeah, we'll definitely do another Trubbish because it's always good to have a, a threat of a big line of Garbodors. We, like, we want them to feel uncomfortable about using items. Oh, nice, and it's a Acrobike build. I mean, they're probably going to be using a good amount of items here. We see a Cynthia go out. So usually with the Sableye, this could be that um, Alolan Executor deck. That's typically the deck I see it in. So we'll see. There goes a Fighting Energy. 
Oh wow. And they just do the, do the sable. How many items? Oh, they only use one. Uh, if only we had an energy on the type null, we could have got game right now. But we don't have it on him yet, but we're going to go put one on him now. Go Cynthia and see if we can at least start off with some damage. Nice. Yeah, so there is the Savali. I mean, I don't think... I was going to attack with the Garbodor, but doing, what, 20 damage is not going to really help us. And then Sableye could disable our Trash Lanch next turn, and we won't have a free retreat on that Garbodor. So I think we're just going to hold. It doesn't really serve us at all to uh, do that, because we can one-shot it with the Sylvalai next turn if we draw into a double colorless. Uh, yeah, it is. In fact, the Alolan Executor deck. Good thing is that we're seeing a few items come out. So it's two so far, so not a whole bunch. But fortunately for us, our opponent is obliging by using more. We'll see if they're able to get down another... Another execu uh, Execute. But we, we want to kill this guy ASAP. So is that three? So I think what we're going to do is we're going to go for the Guzma play and take down that Execute. Ooh, here we go. All right, so we don't need the Choice Band for this. And we already have Energy in the discard, so we can get rid of that. Let's go into Lele. We have all three Guzmas, so we're looking good. Yeah. You don't want to let this deck start um, getting going with their Execute, so we're going to try to chain as many Guzmas as possible. Lucky for us, we have energy in the discard. Well, actually, yeah, let's go ahead and draw. M might as well. Maybe it would be another Guzma. Fortunately, it's not, but we here. We have the Knockout, and we have one energy coming out. We can start setting up our Garbodors. There you go, 120, and you bring an energy back. Very strong indeed. Here comes Choice Band. I guess you can disable us. But we'll have the win based off of the number of uh, items that they've played. So if they don't get down someone right now, then we're going to get the win. And unfortunately... Oh, uh, no, okay. I thought that was the, uh, the attack. I guess that's the, uh, the ability. But I don't see him putting another Pokemon down. So, unfortunate for our opponent, we are going to get a quick little victory off of him. But you can see how we were able to get set up pretty good. Oh no! Oh, I couldn't see... Wait, he only had six? I thought he had one more. Oh, alright, sorry guys. I guess I boofed that one. But, I mean, technically, we couldn't have done more damage, so. Just miscalculated. We're still in a, like, a, a good position, now. So he lives to see another day. So I guess, all right, good for our for our opponent. He played it well. Made sure that he wouldn't die from the trash lanch. Now we're going to need a double colorless, probably to do acid spray. If our opponent's just going to continue to disable the trash lanch. There goes that. We're going to Cynthia um, looking to hit a double colorless uh, so we can kill him with... Oh, we don't need that. Um, we'll go ahead and do that. Just to make sure that we don't draw it. Looking for a double colorless here. And we do in fact get that. Let's go ahead and... Yeah, we'll, uh, we'll knock off. Why not knock off that shrine?
hey, we hit it. Hit heads whenever it doesn't matter, huh? Bet you if we needed to hit that heads, it probably would have been tails. So let's see if our opponent can evolve up into his main guy, which would mean that he's going. Here's another Lily. So we would expect him to be able to, to evolve, so it could be looking tough for us. Here's an Acrobike, probably searching for uh, Ultra Ball or Executor. Okay, gonna Marsh Shadow for four, searching um, again for just an evolution. He needs to, to evolve here. Question is, will he get it? If he doesn't, then he's gonna, he still has the hip, hypnosis defense, so he won't be down and out. But we'll see if he can evolve and um, put the pressure on us. How many items is he at now, though? Is that, yeah, four, five, six, seven. There's another shrine coming down. Eight. Okay, so he is gonna get that evolution. But the good thing for us is we're now one-shotting with our Garbodors, so. So that's fine for us. And he's not going to have a follow-up attacker either. I don't want to play Judge just yet. We can go ahead and put down a type null. And just get the kill. He wasn't able to play around our trash lynch this time. So I think we're looking good. We're, we're going to have one turn of him not being able to attack. But he does get his ex execute down, which is actually is pretty big for him. Let's go ahead and put, let's discard those. No more Garbodors, darn. Okay, how many Guzma? We have two Guzma. Uh, actually, let's go ahead and get, I don't want to, looking at it now, I don't want to make another Sylv Sil ally just to deal with all that damage. So we're going to bring him out just to discard so we can Orangaroo. Looking for Guzma. No Guzma, but Field Blower. So we'll take that. Perfect. So we are going to need to hit a um, stretcher. Our third Garbodor is inactive. Oh, well, he just conceded. So we were going to need, need a stretcher if we wanted to continue to recycle those guys. So, a little tough. That is, that's a very awkward deck to play against. 160 HP on a stage one's tough. And uh, he played it just right in the beginning to where he was only going to take 60 damage and not 80. I was like, you know, thinking, hey, here we go. We're moving on to round two super early. But... Kudos to our opponent, made it a bit tough for us, but we were able to geek it out in the end, much to the strength of Garbodor. So let's see how this next deck plays out here. And as you can expect, we probably will see a lot of Shrine decks. So this is something to keep in mind. But whenever you do see a lot of Shrine, if you're playing this deck, then just go into a lot of uh, trebuches. Call it a day. So this is a spread deck. Okay. A little hesitant about putting down too many mons, but let's go ahead and at least get draw. And let's get a trebuch. And we're going to attach that. We don't need to put the, the Oringaru down this turn. So, in case he does get Tapu Koko and gets the spread attack in, uh, we might as well just save ourselves from taking 20 damage. 
Oh, okay, here we go. Shining Arceus. So, Pretension Bench, which is fine. We don't do stuff to bench yet. And there is another, sh another shrine. So, Shrine of Punishment is everywhere. But yeah, so what we did there was you, we didn't need to put down the the Orangaroo there in case they did get some sort of spread right off the bat. So instead, now we can put him down and feel pretty safe about it. He's weak to fighting, huh? Brilliant. Let's put that down. We don't need the choice band, so we can put this on the Orangaroo. And we'll in instruct for one, hoping to not have to use the judge. Okay, I guess we are going to use a judge because I want to get that kill. Unfortunately, it didn't work out for us. Let's go. Go ahead and evolve there. Use Slash and Claw. So it's not a great situation, but at least we're not taking any damage from the Shrine of Punishment. I would have liked to evolve so we can get the kill, but I mean, it kind of helps us both ways. We are going to want to have the self ally for when uh, the Shining Arceus comes out. Because then we will be able to one shot that. So we see the the lily come out. So oh yeah, and there is Tapu Coco. So we're, as we can expect, some spread. We 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 would one shot that if we were a Silv ally, but you know, I guess we can just do some extra <laughs> damage with the fighting memory just be super extras on them so since there is that fighting weakness let's go ahead and drop that no need to put this down just yet in case we do see some spread attacks so let's slash and claw and see if we can get some sort of ultra ball or draw our discard pile is looking pretty bare right now see how's there looking yeah so is our op opponent, so we're kind of both having a slow start. I think that's kind of how the meta is now, which is good. More setup decks and such. Okay, oh well, so they do have a couple of GXs. He's not going to want to play the Naga because that is weak to our Trash Lanch. Actually, both of these guys are weak to our Trash Lanch, so it's pretty smart on our opponent's end to not put those up. And we see the Ultra Ball for the other Malamar. So I was expecting... Okay. It's going to put up the Orangaroo to stall us out. So, okay, we're going to go... That, that That is a lot of damage to put up. We have to hit... And unfortunately, we drew that energy, which doesn't help us out here. We need to hit a Silv Ally. So, supporter something. No, no, no supporter. Let's go ahead and knock that off and uh, yeah we are stuck so I you know, mentioned in the setup that we typically don't get stuck in this deck but this is the one time where we just haven't been able to draw our, our supporter and you know, he's stock, stocking up a lot of damage here and there we go perfect the perfect card that we wanted to see so bring out the Silv Ally Get the instruct with the empty hand here. Guess we'll go ahead and do an evolution there too. Let's retreat and proceed to punch face. We do have to be a bit hesitant now of um, some spread shenanigans of like. Uh, yeah, that top of Lele, the magical swap. So figure if we evolve big, then that'll make it harder for them to get like the easy kills by swapping. Um, but definitely gonna want to try to kill as quickly as possible because that magical swap will do a lot of damage. Luckily, they lost two double colorlesses on that kill. We need. We just need to make sure. Uh, that they can't get six prizes with one magical swap. So here comes another flying flip. 
So we're probably getting pretty close to be, being able to do that, actually. And I think we need to evolve this type null as well. So let's go ahead. Let's energy lotto thin out the the deck a bit. With acro, perfect. We're gonna go on to that trebuchet. We're looking to evolve this type null because I'm just worried of them getting these two guys down and then just knocking off someone with 20 damage here, 20 damage there. So let's evolve everything that we can. Which will, in essence, give us a little bit more health. So, one more evolution. Perfect. Okay. So obviously, yeah, we do take more damage from Shrine, but this just gives us a lot more damage to live against the uh, magical swap. That came out. All right. So it's a race. It's a race. It's a race. Luckily, he had to put up the Tapu Koko so he can't just Malamar straight to this Koko. And woof, pulls out the Lily right at the most opportune time, getting a whole hand of refreshers. So we are in a little precarious position here. Uh, so good top deck by our opponent. And we'll see if we can just outrace him at this point. This guy is needing 130 to uh, to take us down. So we'll see if they're able to do the magical swap play. They're gonna have to time it perfectly. I feel like. Poipol. Hmm. Okay. We're okay with that. They could also use that GX attack. That's gonna take them down to three prizes, and us to three prizes. We're already at three, so that would be kind of risky, but then they can then magical swap us for game. So, yes. This is okay. Nope, he's just going to go with the hypnosis. Bold. Bold to go with the hypnosis. So, we'll see if the sleep sticks. I was seeing it play out a different way. Okay, well, there's another poi pool, so they can still do it, but we'll see if the sleep sticks. Coin flip here. The sleep did stick. Do we have our switch? We still have the switch available. So let's start putting down our our, our energies, I guess. Put down our energy, empty out our hand. There's that switch. Let's see if the Cynthia can pull us out of a sticky situation here. Oh, Guzma, even better. Okay, so what are we worried about right now? I think we're, are we more worried about the Malamar? I kind of think we are worried about the Malamars. Hmm. I mean, Poipools, no, I guess we'll, no, we'll go for the Coco. This way I figure if, if they want to go to the Naga, then we can at least counter back with the one shot. This stops one more full spread of damage, which might put them into a magical swap range. So, let's go ahead and do that. And hope that they, they aren't able to get off that uh, GX attack from the uh, Nuganadel. Okay, let's see the skateboard come out. So that's going to allow them to go hook. So one more hypnosis, can we hit heads? And there we hit heads, we didn't even have to worry about it. Brilliant. Okay. So they tried to cheese it. We were able to bounce back. That Shining Arceus can be a bit difficult to deal with. Uh, opponent was also using, you know, Shrine technique. But like I said, we can counter it somewhat. We can try to just go Garbodors. We can hold off until we, we have to evolve and then start cycling energy. So I think we did pretty good there. Since we had the psychic typing, they couldn't really bring out their big GXs like like they would want to, because then there'd probably be a two for one trade off. So that helped us out. And uh, yeah, Silvalli did Silvalli things. So let's see what we can do here. Let's see what kind of start we get. Ah, oh, no starting basic for us. Neither for the opponent. Any starter here? Nope, none none there either. Opponents are getting a good look at our hands. Let's see. Oh, Metagross. This is actually going to be really tough for us. This one might be one of our matchups that we can't really win. 
since they are so big. But we're going to give it a good try. Obviously, if they fill up their bench with five, which they typically do, then that's going to give us um, a chance. Because then we can at least get one kill, and then we'll try to just like put pressure on like other ways. But this is going to be a really good good challenge. Let's, let's let's see how we play it. One thing will will obviously just be like I guess uh, getting as much damage in as possible early. So maybe we can just overpower them crazy. Uh, let's see if we have. Uh, okay, yeah, we have the lily. Okay, Lily, let's go type null. So yeah, got rid of the Orangru because we're going to get a Lily off turn once. So we're we're going to have a big hand, so I'm not sure how late it's going to come into game that Orangru would actually be helpful. And we didn't get an energy off of all of those cards. That's unfortunate. <laughs> how we didn't get an energy? Look at this. Where are all of our energies? I discard the one because, you know, we always want to start with energy. So this is not the way that we want to go, s considering that we want to start off very quickly. Um, so that is definitely unfortunate. But we're going to do what we can to bounce back. We're going to try to bounce back like Big Sean. Okay. Oof. I want to save that judge for an algorithm GX, but who knows if they're going to actually use it. It's like, do we save it for algorithm or do we... I think we use it for the first Vulpix to really, you know, try to slow them down from the beginning before they get all set up. So, ideally, we can draw Psychic Energy and then kill the Vulpix. If we get it off of the Judge, then we're going to be in an okay position, maybe? If they don't just get Judged into a Supporter, which is very likely. But that's okay. Sometimes, you know, the cards are just not in your favor. We'll see what we can do here. We do have a lot of options. We're going to evolve into Soul Ally there. Go into a couple of Garbodors. Let's go ahead and put one Choice Bend down. Make Fish out a Blower and hope that we can hit a Psychic Energy. There's our Psychic Energy. So that's okay. It's, a, it's, not, it's not horrible. We're still in a hole. But I think we're always in a hole in with this deck, so... You know, we're just going to have to do the best that we can. So it's a decent comeback, considering... Oh, but maybe not, because then they just do the... Because then they just do that. Oh, wow. So we judged them into perfectness. Alright. Well, the good thing... So Metagross... The most we're going to be able to hit is 180, so so Valet can take a couple hits from them. He's probably going to make sure he stays at only four bench and and not let us uh, get the one shot on him. But if we soften him up, then maybe we can still get that kill. But we gotta have to expect. Okay, nope. Here comes an Ultra Ball. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, they're just gonna work with these four here. If they use a lot of items, we can just try to target these Lele's, though. And there is the algorithm. So, you know, we tried to prejudge to keep them from getting too big. Um, you know, maybe we could have just let them get the evolution and expect them to do the algorithm a turn or two later. You know, but there's no guarantee that we would still have the judge in hand, so I did what I could. Looks like it may not work out perfectly for us, but I think we're still going to be okay. And uh, they use five, seven. They use a lot of uh, items already. Seven. They're going to have max potions. So.
a task could be just a way to try to get them to use up all of their 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 items. Uh, let's go ahead and do the double colors. They 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 might have grabbed an enhanced hammer, but that's fine. Let's try to make it so Garbodor can start getting one shots on these Leles. Let's go ahead and acrobike. That memory is not going to do anything for us, so we're good to get rid of that. You're out of here. And trash lunch. Like I said, they're probably going to heal that off, but that's fine. Yeah, we're already doing so we're doing 140 against Lele's. So it's not the end of the world. Opponent may try to Guzma out our Lele to take the first two prizes. Oh no. Okay. I guess he just wants to put down a lot of damage. Good thing is we we can actually kill this Metagross if this uh, choice band stays on. If they don't heal it. <laughs> Let's not get too uh, too ahead of ourselves because they do run... Ah, damn it. Yeah, they they do run max potions. Well, now we can kill this uh, Tapu Lele. So we'll do that. So they won't have a kill yet and we'll have a kill on the Tapu Lele. Actually, I think we want to. No, we're going to kill this Matang because we need five prizes. And that would be five. Two, four, five. Okay, so we're going to Guzma out Tang. Go. Kill that guy. Very good. Now we just need to get our other two Guzmas to kill those Leles. Or force out a couple more... A, just a couple more Max Potions and maybe a Ultra Ball and Rare Candy and then we should be able to... Okay, a Choice Ban. Okay, here's the Judge. Judge is not that bad because if, if they judge us into a Guzma then we're going to be looking okay. Hey, there you go. If you speak it, it will happen. Okay, so let's put that on there. Let's go ahead and just keep working these um, Garbodors. Let's Guzma out. Okay, there. Should, I think we're going to... Yeah, let's go ahead and stretch her. Let's get this Garbodor up. And we have an Ultra Ball in hand, so we can try to Guzma again next turn. We're at 160 right now. Okay, cool, perfect. Oh, wow. Look at that. Look at those prizes. So opponent's going to have to judge us again. He already judged once. How many more judges? He's judged, he has two judges? Wow, does he run three judges? Let's see if he has a third judge. And he doesn't. Wow, so we're going to take down 250 Metagross deck. That's impressive. I'm not going to lie. That's pretty, pretty good. Well, actually, hold on. Let's not get too ahead of ourselves. We, we still need our third uh, Guzma, huh? I got a little ahead of myself before. <laughs> So let's see what happens this time. Let's see if we have the third Guzma in deck. And there it is. Beautiful third Guzma. Who says that you need four Guzma? Who said you need four Guzma? You can play with three. And actually, we're actually really fortunate there. So <laughs> I'm sure you guys would have been laughing hysterically if that third Guzma was prized. But there we go. Garbodor and Silvalli taking down Metagross. Taking down, taking no prisoners. Look at that. I'm all about that. So you, you guys can see the strength of this deck. And we didn't even go up against uh, Zoroark, which we would have been able to hit for weakness. Like, we, like you want to see, like, a Zoro guard deck or something. Um, but you guys can see the balance there. Uh, it does a lot of things. It can punish the, the guys who play a lot of items. It can hang with the Sylveon GXs that try to knock off all of you. Your, your energies. I really think this is a deck that people should be using. Um, so I don't know. You guys can test it out. 
I don't see this played on the ladder at all, so um, you might be able to sneak in some wins, maybe take it to some, some League Cups. Let me know how it plays for you guys. Um, we'll, we'll be coming back with some more deck profiles, so let me know if there's something you think we should build out. And uh, yeah, I hope to see you guys soon. All right, take care.